worst hardship suffered by our Nigerian IDP brothers and sisters. As the number of people forced to flee their homes has grown, UNHCR's capacity to help has not been able to keep up. But yours and cash donation can change this. Nothing is more cherishable than having a home where the family can be secured, have all their needs, share sadness, happiness, and build memories. The internally displaced persons are deprived of all this, having been forced to leave their homes due to terrorist attacks, conflicts, systematic violations of human rights, but still remain within their country's borders. According to Internal Displacement Monitoring Center, it was estimated at the end of 2020 that there were over 40 million IDPs worldwide. Countries with the largest IDP populations are Syria, Iraq, the Democratic Republic of Congo, South Sudan, Pakistan, Nigeria, and Somalia. To this end, the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, who exists to protect and assist everyone who has been affected by forced displacement, including IDPs, in partnership with Sakat and Sadako Foundation, whose aim is also to lift those with restricted means out of poverty and committed to continuously lend helping hands to the needy without religious sentiments or discrimination, organized a Ramadan iftar fundraising dinner in order to support displaced families in Nigeria on Thursday, April 7, 2022, at Eco Hotel and Suites, Lagos. Ramadan signifies much more than simply abstaining from food or drink from dusk to dawn. It's a month that also seeks to challenge one's spiritual base, to enrich and enlighten one's focus through inward reflection and self-reflexiveness. It is a month in which many take account of their role and responsibility in their families and communities and identify ways to better themselves and the ability to care for others. It is no wonder that we see the spirit of Ramadan extend beyond our Muslim brothers and sisters and influence all of us to be better versions of ourselves. It is in this regard UNHCR recognizes the importance and value of cultivating meaningful relationships with faith-based communities. We welcome this call by the UNHCR and as Muslims, in the month of Ramadan, we consider it a home call, a worthwhile endeavor that is rewarded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Sakat and Sadaka feels highly honored to be part of this partnership. And the moment we received the call. We happened immediately that this is part of our objectives. Present at the event where UNHCR representative in Nigeria, Chancellor Kapaya, Executive Director of Sakat and Sadaka Foundation, Prince Suleiman Olagunju, Senior Advisor and Representative to the Gulf Cooperation Council countries, Mr. Khalid Khalifa. UNHCR Goodwill Ambassador Innocent Idibia, UNHCR celebrity supporters Ali Nohu and Judith Aldu, amongst other dignitaries. What we have come for is very important to us, it's dear to our hearts because many of us have place to sleep, but we have many that do not have. And these are people that are crying crying for our need and we all know that this need can be met with just two and a half percent if we pay our sakat. So we have done the little we can do here and I'm calling appealing just like many other speakers have appealed that you let us stop it. As we are going out, let us carry the message around so that they can have rest of mind. Their problem is our problem as Muslims. As a Zakat worker in Nigeria, 
I also appreciate why must Allah have put in the Holy Quran among the recipients of Zakat, what you call, and for those in bondage, and for those in bondage, refugees, those who are forced out of their homes unwillingly. And so far, life continues, they must live, they must wait to suffer, they must wait on someone, they need other people's money to spend. They need other people's wealth to sustain their own life. UNHCR has come out along with their partners, those of us in the Philippines and those who are industry, from the industrial world. And inshallah, partnership has just said, started. We hope inshallah it continues and we move from strength to strength. This is the month of Ramadan, a Months that were implored to love one another, help one another, give out, show love, love to just everyone. So um, it's a good thing that um, UNHCR and the collaborator organizations are coming together to put up um, events of this nature. What I would try to call on people is for one, uh, they should try as much as they can to see that they contribute just so we see that we alleviate the lives of um, some of these people that are victims to uh, the insurgency and the whole thing is happening uh, up north. So it is a very, very serious situation. Uh, the numbers keep increasing. And you know, we cannot stress it enough to ask people to support. Any you know, way, nothing is too small, please. Nothing is too small. And stuff, but to just encourage everybody, my try your possible best, and, you know, whatever they can do, and also, you know, spread the word. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Testimonials on how the UNHCR helped when all hope was lost and sold positively in their lives were given by Usman Bura and Fautazan. Mungudu, what an sumu sunje mongono, what an sumu sunje gubiyoyu. Wadang susu jangan zai, muka mama zua amai duguri. Daga zua na amai duguri, orang saya apa muncul pakasi kamp IDF. Daga pakasi IDF kamp, ba abunda muna iya mui acikin. Haka muna tau ni, tu kuna Allah ya sa, gumna cin caraya, gumna cin lok stage. Si apa la tanda kamana? Daga kuma kunya. UNHCRC Shima Ya Fala Kalla Mawana Si Kungyang Ni Tada Ka Chichi Nasa Umurwa A Chichi Tanda Fanda Sunyi Mana Sun Horemu Abisa Yenda Zamu Rige Kamu Sun Bari Kwarwa Aiki Nda Tanyi Kaswanchi Pledge of donation was handed by the Master of Ceremony, Mr. Idris Kasumu, to collect donations from invited guests for refugees in Nigeria. For our brothers and sisters who are uh, displayed, uh, it's the month of Ramadan and whatever little that we give, we want much actually, but whatever little that we give, uh, we we'll go a long way, you know, to help uh, the, the fight against the uh, eradicating internally displaced uh, person. According to the organizers, the funds raised will help in supporting families intended and continuation of events like this should be expected. We are thinking of them during this month of mercy and forgiveness and to also call for people who can support to contribute financially to alleviate the suffering of hundreds of thousands of, re of refugees inside uh, Nigeria. 
our program is 100% Sharia compliant and we uh, do not charge any administration fees, which means all the support we receive reach those who need it 100% and we cover everything else from other uh, sources. We uh, plan several events in the future. Uh, our Islamic philanthropy uh, program is a model that we are expanding every uh, year and Nigeria is one of our uh, areas of concentration so we will be having uh, more events in the future we will be looking for more partnerships and we will be uh, looking into uh, banks for example in the country private sector companies and the benefactors who would like to assist uh, others in times of need participants have this to say on impact of programs like this in the society and urged individuals corporate organizations and the government to seek lasting solutions to the plights of the IDPs. Programs like this to the society definitely has a long way in going. You know, there's a, there's a great issue of um, how to distribute wealth in Nigeria. Redistribution of wealth is the major problem we have because we have so much um, injustice around. So, and when we now see people who are in need, who, who have lost their homes and um, they've been attacked, they've been sent away from their primary place of uh, residence, you know, it is essential that this kind of program should be sustained. It's, um, it's a call to duty, it's a call for responsibility that government should take this much more in, um, in seriously to securing the lives and properties of people. And for corporate bodies, the least they can, through CSR, they can pick these kind of responsibilities and give back to the, to the poor, to the needy and the IDPs in, in particular. This is just the beginning and uh, as we move by next year, a lot of program of this nature is going to be seen and we expect the people of Nigeria, in respect of their religion, whether Muslim or Christians, they will partner with this very important uh, activity that is of paramount importance to our continued existence and of course blessing from God Almighty. UNHCR celebrity supporter Judith Audu stated strategic ways she intends to help considering her status as a public figure. Um, I'm a filmmaker so my voice is visual and um, so I always lend my voice and speak out whenever there is something that we need to speak out about and that is what we do, um, the celebrity supporters and most of the peace ambassadors. Um, so we try to use where our names, you know, can take us into, where our voices can take us into. So it's more like speaking for the voiceless and just representing them everywhere we go and making sure everywhere we go we talk about it and let people know that this is real this is happening right here in our country we have internally displaced persons that need our help that need us to speak out you know and while we're doing that also try to preach that we all need to love each other and live at peace you know at the end of the day we are one we're one and the same you know despite our religion our tribe we're all humans we're all one we're all brothers and sisters with the help of foundations like UNHCR and Sakat and Sadaka Foundation, IDPs should be able to rise back on their feet, have their own home and get the life they deserve.